In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to five things that you probably didn't know you could do in Freebar. Shall we? Okay, let's go. Okay, so the first on the list is grids. So just like Figma, you can also have grids in Freema. To do that, there are two ways. The first is you click on the menu and then go to your view and then you click on show guides. Or you can use a shortcut, which is what I'm using to use, which is Control G on Mac to hide or show it. I'm not sure what the shortcut for Windows is, but you can go to the menu and then see the shortcuts there. Okay, now next on the list is a do not select. Right, so you see how text sometimes is selectable, right, on the website. Maybe for whatever reason, you do not want to have this. Right, so to disable the option for users of your website to you select the text, you basically click on this text or whatever it is you want them to not be able to select. Click on it and scroll down to the styles bit click on the plus and click on user select and let's set it to none so now you see that if we play it it's not selectable right but you can select these other texts next on the list is page effects so page effects basically is the transition between pages you can control that within framer so instead of having like a sharp transition from one page to another, when you click, let's say this about us, it sh cuts sharply to the next page. You can add some interesting effects or animation to that page. So to do that, you select the main frame, go to effects, and let's just say all pages. So once you do that, you have a bunch of different options under the presets. You have crossfade, fade, fade out and in, and a whole other stuff. So let's just select the crossfade. And then let's just preview right so to once we go to another page you see a nice effect happens it fades in nice let's change it to another effect so you can see the effect a little bit more so let's just say let's just slide up we preview it and we switch to another page you see it moves up slightly you see so this allows you to have some interesting transitions between pages on your website, your framework website. One thing to note is that this only really works in Chrome or other browsers built upon Chrome, right? So this won't work in Safari. I'm not sure about any other browser that it won't work in, but for now I know it won't work in Safari, but it will work in uh, Chrome itself, um, Microsoft Edge, Arc, and any other browser out there. So yeah, that's, that's something to note. Now the next thing is scroll bars and hiding scroll bars. All right, so to do that, let's go to this uh, design that I have here. And I'm just going to make some updates. Make some minor updates, change the direction to this and say starts. Great. So, now I should be able to scroll from left to right on this. Okay, it's not working. I need to change. So to make the flow, the scroll work, you need to change the overflow from visible on. Let me just make the layers. You need to change the overflow from hidden to scroll. And that's how the scroll is going to work. Okay. So now we see when I scroll left or right you see a scroll bar here right when i scroll left or right so sometimes you may want to hide this scroll bar so to do that you basically need to just click on styles and click on scroll bars and then it's the set to hide automatically so now you realize that once we preview this and we scroll the scroll bar is missing right so that's one neat little trick to yeah, using your Frema websites. Okay, now the final tip that you probably didn't know you could do in Frema is how to set your copyright text the year to be dynamic. So it changes based on the year, right? So instead of writing the year like I have here, right? And having to always be remind myself to change it every year, Frema has a component, a native component that you can use. So you just go to the insert tab 
and then search for time right and then what you can do is just drag the time in here so once you drag it in there you go to the properties panel and you see a bunch of options so for that you basically just need to switch to the date and then hide the day and hide the month that's that's really it right and then you can start you can style it according to what you need and so what you realize is that every year you don't have to come back or remind yourself to keep changing the text on here you can basically forget about it and it will be changing i already styled this um components in this design so i'm just going to undo it but as you can see it also has other use cases so for example if you want to display the the local time of the user viewing your website you can do that at the top just like i have at the top here so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like this video share this video with someone you think might find it useful leave a comment on what you think i should cover next and yeah i'll catch you next time